Today, we're going to talk about the three people you need in your life when learning how to code. When learning to code and undertaking any kind of life-changing experience, like going from one career to another, it's a very difficult and time-consuming process. And I think if you want to be successful, you need three essential roles in your life. You need a teacher, a coach, and a mentor. Now, if we look through some common examples, we can take Mike Tyson, for example. He had custom auto that trained you from a young man and that eventually turned him into the world championship boxer. We can look at Luke Skywalker head Yoda who trained him in the ways of using the force. And we can look at Tom Brady, the famous NFL quarterback that had Bill Belichick. All of these had these people in their lives that fulfilled these roles of teacher, coach, and mentor. So let's look at how you can identify people to fulfill those roles for you. Let's first, let's look at the teacher role. The teacher role is vitally important to any educational experience, and we call this the education process. And so when you're trying to learn how to code, you're obviously taking in information, learning about things you don't know how to do. So you need to find an experienced person that can teach you how to code. Now, let's think about what the actual, what a, a great instructor is going to do. And what we see is this is the primary failing of a lot of people that are self-taught is that the good instructor curates the experience. They figure out what parts of this coding languages and stacks and all these kind of things do I need to learn so that I can get a job. And so we curate those and we see so many students, students trying to be their own instructor by going to get a Udemy course here, this tutorial here, and pulling all of these trying to curate the experience and it makes it really difficult. I'm gonna give you a hint here. If you have to do this on your own, which is fine, that you need to figure out what you want to build. And the first thing you should be doing, if you have no idea what to do, is I'm gonna build web applications. And so when you do that, that limits the types of things that you need to learn, your education experience. And now you can go out and target the different tutorials or the course or the instructor that you wanna learn from because they teach the thing that you're looking for. They have the experience that you need. They have the skill that you lack and they can show you how to be a great web developer. So the next role we need in our life is the coach role. Now, I think this is highly undervalued when we're learning to code because a lot of times you think, I just need the education, just show me how to do this. But we undervalue that coach role. And I think some people try to do this on their own and a few can, but I think they're in the minority. Very few people can fulfill the coach role by themselves. This is the motivational, part of what we do. It's not the education, it's the motivation. Because when we feel tired, we don't come to class or we don't go through that tutorial. We need someone to wake us up and say, hey, you need to get there. I know you feel bad today, but let's let's double down and let's do it. When you wanna quit, they keep you from doing it. They encourage you when you're down. And that's what that coach does. And if you look at all the greats in history and in sports and everything, they had that motivator, that one that kept them going when it's difficult. And you can't usually do this by yourself. So you need to find someone in your life that can be your coach. Now they don't have to know about coding. It could be a spouse, it could be a mom, it could be a sibling, someone that will encourage you and also motivate you when you know you're feeling a little slack. And so that way they keep you on pace. They keep you accountable to the life change you're trying to find. And so you need to have that coaching, that motivational influence in your life. The mentor role is really important when we look at trying to break into software development for the first time. We have went through the education process with the teacher. We've allowed someone to coach us. And now we've built this portfolio, we've built these things, and now we're in the job hunting phase. And this takes a mentor to guide us through this process. We see so many students fail right here. They went through all this effort, spent all this time, and then this part, because they don't have a mentor to provide the necessary direction to help them truly break in and start establishing a career as a software developer. Now this direction is very important and you can see it in the things that we talk about here on the YouTube channel and the things I wrote about in my book and is one of the big things that we always tell students is take the first offer. Experience early on is way more important than the perfect job setting, the perfect job salary, the perfect location, and all these things that you think that you need to do, but a wise person would say, you know what, really just get the experience and then those other things will come later. And so 
A wise person surrounds themselves with good counsel. And I think that everyone needs a mentor in their life. Now, do they need to know how to code to provide this to you? No, they can simply just say, hey, I've been through the hiring process before. I've been through the ups and I've been through the downs and I know what it takes. So just listen to me when I say you need experience first and then we can get that money. We can get that perfect position. We can get that perfect location later. And I think a lot of people fail here. The other thing that happens in the mentor relationship is if you get turned down, that mentor can say, you know, you might need to interview more than once. And so I've seen a lot of people quit after they get that initial re re rejection. And that mentor could come along beside you and say, it's okay, you can do this. Just keep going through the process of interviewing and getting that next job. So find a mentor in your life that can help you provide the direction that you need tell you the things that aren't necessarily obvious to you, but it's obvious to them because they have experience. Let's review. I think it's essential that you have these three roles in your life. You need a teacher that provides that necessary instruction or education to learn how to code. You need a coach that provides the necessary motivation when you get tired or you're feeling down and you want to quit and they keep you going. And then you also need that mentor that provides that direction in the decisions you have to make when looking for a role or looking for a job or accepting that first job. And these could be one person. It could be three people. It could be a company like Coder Foundry. And here at Coder Foundry, we would be honored to be your teacher, your coach, and your mentor because we know how tough it is to make that transition from where you are today into that software development career that you want and that you desire. So hit us up at coderfoundry.com and let us be your teacher, your coach, and your mentor. However you choose to fill these roles with a person, a company, coderfoundry, not coderfoundry, good luck and keep coding.